The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. At the time Jesus left Samaria for Galilee, for Jesus himself testified that a prophet has no honor in his native place. When he came to, into Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him. Since they had seen all he had done in Jerusalem at the feast, for they themselves had gone to the feast. Then he returned to Cana in Galilee, where he had made the water wine. Now there was a royal official whose son was ill in Capernaum. When he heard what, that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and asked him to come down and heal his son who was near death. Jesus said to him, Unless you people see signs and wonders, you will not believe. The royal official said to him, Sir, come down before my child dies. Jesus said to him, You may go, your sons will live. The man believed what Jesus said to him and left. While the man was on his way, his slaves met him and told him that this boy would live. He asked them when he began to recover. They told him the fever left him yesterday about one in the afternoon. The father realized that just at that time Jesus had said to him, your son will live. And he and his whole household came to believe. Now this was the second sign Jesus did when he came to Galilee from Judea. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Nung babasa ko yung Ibanghelyo, nakababasa pa lang natin, I had some questions. Sapagat yung binasa nating Ibanghelyo, there is a part in it that resonates very closely to people like us. Nasa business po kasi kami ng preaching. Nasa business po kasi kami ng evangelizing. Nasa ang goal po namin, convince yung mga tao, makapreach yung, uh, yung salita ng Diyos. At apatuloy at mapalalim yung pananampalataya na makausap namin. Baga, the moment that we, we stand here, and then we open our mouths, and then we preach, yun po yung goal. Mapalalim yung pananampalataya sa Panginoon. And we are in that business. Kaya nga po, nung binasa ko yung Ibanghelyo ngayon, and heard the Lord complaining, kayo talaga mga taong kayo, unless you people see the sign, uh, unless you people see the sign, you will not believe. No? Parang ang hirap-hirap niya ng papaniwalain o maniwala. No? And the question for me is that, kung yung Panginoon nga was already making miracles left and right, preaching left and right, eh, ang dami-dami pa rin mga bumabatikos at ang dami pa, dami pa rin mga hindi naniniwala at ang dami-dami pa rin mga pumupuna, eh, paano pa, paano pa kaya kami? No? We don't make miracles at least on the same level at the Lord. We don't do that. We simply preach. Papaniwalaan ba kaya? No? You know, uh, that's a challenge. No? At I think that is a very valid Uh, question. My dear friends, nasa mundo po tayo na ang daming credibility issues. Nasa mundo po tayo na madalas hindi mo na alam kung ano yung paniniwalaan, kung ano yung totoo, o ano yung hindi. Ano ba talaga yung mas matinong baksina? Yung vaccine ba ay kapag ka tinurokan ako ay ano ba mangyayari sa akin? Uh, mayroon nagsasabi na yung isa ay tawag nito, magkaka-allergy ka, may mga balita naman na ang dami, di ba, no? And that's the reason why ang baba-baba ng confidence sa immunization dito sa Pilipinas. Sapagat ang dami-daming nagsasalita at hindi mo na malaman kung ano yung paniniwalaan. We have a problem of certitude dito sa ating komunidad, sa ating society sa ating bansa. Ano ba talaga yung totoo, sister? No? Ano ba talaga yung totoo? Makakasama ba yan? Makakabuti? Ang dami-dami nagsasalita, no? 
I just Google it. Just look at the YouTube sa mga Facebook account ninyo. Hindi mo na malaman eh. Kanina po, before, uh, because I often met with our workers every every Monday para konting pep talk, konting tanong, konting uh, direction. Uh, I ask them the question, alam po ba sa inyo, and I think I was only talking to the uh, facilities management uh, group, Siguro nasa 25 sila. Sabi ko, ilan po kaya sa inyo yung kapag ka-available na yung, yung vaccine ay magpapaturok? <laughs> Isa lang ang nagtaas ng kamay. At nung tinanong ko, ang sagot sa akin, hindi po kasi namin alam kung ano yung totoo. Ang dami-daming nagsasalita. Ang dami-daming kung ano-ano yung mga tawag nito, kung ano-ano yung mga posisyon. We don't know. We have a problem of truth, at least yung maliit na truth, dito sa ating society. Hindi lang po yan sa baksina, sa maraming issue pa po. Kaya ang hirap ng, ang hirap ng tawag nito mag-preach sapagkat di marin malaman kung yun ay lumalalim sa kanila. If it's happening in our time, it was also happening in the time of the Lord. Yung kalahati po nun, maliban doon sa tawag nito, doon sa ang dami-daming mga nagsasalita, ang dami-daming nagpo-post, ang dami-daming mga yung mga mema, mema sa bilang post kaagad, no? Uh, it affects, no? Yung pangalawa po, yung kahati nito ay yung believability, no? Um, meron pong meron pong regression eh, nagdiminish yung tiwala sa mga institusyon. Gobyerno, sa simbahan, Bumagsak, no? Yung believability nitong mga institusyon na dati-rati kapag ka sinabi mo ang utos ng pare, hindi mababali. Ayun po, na-challenge na yun. And rightly so naman po, no? Hindi naman sa lahat ng pagkakataon. So we have also a problem of credibility. Ngayon, pag tugmain mo yung dalawa na yun, may problema ka sa credibilidad, ang dami-dami pang mga nagsasalita ay magulo talaga. And that's the reason one, my dear friends, hopefully, One of our prayers sa ating Lenten season ay yung magkaroon tayo ng disposition ng paghahanap ng katotohanan sa ating mga puso at sa, sa tulong ng ating Panginoon. It's a difficult task. No? Napakahirap po na tawag nito maabot yun. At at some point, hindi naman po tayo po pwedeng hindi maniwala. Di ba? Lahat tayo naghahanap pa rin ng mapangahawakan, Nagahanap pa rin tayo ng mapagsasandalan. Nagahanap pa rin po tayo na kapag nagsalita sa ganito, chances are totoo yan. No? Nagahanap pa rin po tayo na kapag nag-preach ng ganito, alam natin na hindi tayo binobolan yan. Alam natin na may laman yan. May totoo yan. No? And also at the same time, another challenge to us is that before we speak up, I think the Lenten season is asking us to pause for a while. Hmm. Totoo ba yan? Makakabuti ba yan? No? Kapag ba ako'y nagsalita, eh, makakadagdag ako sa gulo o makakapagpalinaw? Yung mga salita ko ba ay makakapa, makakatulong na maliwanagan o mas lalong gugulo kapag ako ay bumukas pa ng aking bibig? These are things, my dear friends, that has something to do with the gospel that we heard today. Ang reklamo ng Panginoon, kayo talagang mga tao kayo, Unless you see a sign, you will not believe. But the Lord knows how difficult it is to believe the truth, not only in His time, but lalong-lalo na sa panahon natin. That is a challenge for us, but the grace of God, the truth, the way, the truth, and the life will continue to guide us. So for those who seek the truth, you will find it, and the truth will also find us. And when that happens, then we know that the grace of God is with us.